Little time update. It's 12.09 and I definitely don't have any food. So I need to catch some so I don't die. Got him that time. Big walleye. Big walleye. Oh, get him in there. Nice. 24. Yeah. He looked much bigger, but... Definitely much larger than I would normally keep, but... You guys asked for it. You shall receive. On to the next one. A pow and stuff. Pow! We made it. Oh, God. Hour 12. And I'm feeling it. I know 12 hours isn't that long, but... Drove a lot. Sweated a lot. I haven't really even caught that much, sadly. I feel like the videos are gonna be good though. I really haven't caught that many fish today. Been a lot of driving and a lot of cooking and a lot of cleaning and stuff like that. The fish that I did catch, I did eat, so. Well, actually, I still have a lot of the walleye. If you haven't seen the last video, check it out. Caught a pretty big walleye and I ate it by a big old giant dirty spilling way. And it was one of the glorious, most glorious moments of my whole damn life. But right now, I am at my intended destination this whole time. Those other two videos were just me getting sidetracked because I have a small brain. We're at the uh, final destination of the only eat what you catch tour, but it's not really it's not really a catch or die tour anymore because I have like three pounds of walleye in my damn truck. But anyway, we're gonna keep it rolling and uh, I'm gonna unpack some stuff. There's a glorious new dirty spilling way over there and it's actually not dirty. The water's really clean. Come along with me. Let's do this. Pow. Morning deep water. What does that mean? I can't swim in it? Or I can't fish it? All I know is I drove from the other damn side of Nebraska to get here and I'm fishing it. So if I get a trespassing ticket, I guess, I guess I get a trespassing ticket. Even though I think I'm fine. A lot of my buddies have fished here before. That makes it okay, doesn't it? Wow, that's some nice looking water they got there. Definitely is a pretty beaten path. Someone's been here. Damn near looks like someone's lived here. Hopefully this spot is good. This, is, this walk is pretty treacherous. Eh. I guess looking back, it doesn't look that far, but we're walking on rocks. Makes it feel like it's longer, I guess. That's what she said and stuff. We made it to the spot dreams are made of. That right there would be an underwater spilling way of epic proportions. And there's somebody down here, which is okay. I like talking to local community men, see what's going on. Well, there it is. The most glorious of underwater geyser spilling way things. And it might be the only one. Comment down below if you know of any other ones. This one's in Nebraska. I don't know if there's any other ones at all. That looks dangerous. I don't want to go swimming in it. But supposedly there's giant fish in him. I'm gonna try to catch him. All right, my buddy that told me to come here, one of them, told me that last time he was here, he caught like nine different species. And that gets me all sorts of hot and bothered. For one, we could have some interesting catch and cooks coming. For two, I'm getting swarmed by bugs. For three, I like catching a bunch of different species. So we'll see if we can get something big before these flies eat us alive or whatever the hell they are, gnats? I don't know. I have no idea how this is going to go, but I'm excited. I do know that. I do know that. Pretty good. How are you? You do any good down here? I've never fished this spot in my whole life. Oh, yeah, it's usually good. It was really slow today for me, though. Did you get anything good? That was it? Yeah, that was it. Usually it's pretty good. So I'll probably pick up never know. Yeah, yeah, you too, man. Well, that's not a good sign. He said it's been pretty slow for him. And I'm snagged. And it doesn't feel like a rock. And it's gone. Well, you can't always go off of other people's reports, but I've heard from a couple other locals that it's been kind of slow here too, so. We don't have that much time, so we're not gonna waste too much time anywhere. I don't care how glorious it looks. Got something. That thing hammered it. Whatever it is. Maybe you just need to cast a little bit off to the side. Damn 
flies are eating me alive. It's growing. Hell yes. Damn geyser. And a fish on the old uh, divine swim bait head. And the six cents uh, hollow body. Went to something more natural than the crankbait. What is it? Oh, it's a walleye. Nice. Hell yes. Another nice one too. It's another dandy. Looks like the last one I caught. Thinking I could keep him. I don't really need to. Like I said, the survival challenge thing is kind of kind of over with a little bit. I mean, I'm still doing it, but I already have enough fish to eat, I think. But I'm gonna set him in this little kiddie pool, and then I'm gonna call my buddy and make sure I'm allowed to keep him legally. It never hurts to double check. All right. Well, first fish at the uh, glorious underwater geyser spilling way behind me. It's a decent walleye. I had to call the bait shop to, uh, come on, flare up, bud. Make sure I can keep him, and I can. I don't really need him for this trip anymore, but I'm still gonna keep him. I'm gonna take him home to the fam, and uh, yeah, I don't keep very many fish, so this is a trip for keeping. Pa pow The six cent stuff is definitely Definitely pulling through this trip. I haven't caught a ton of fish, but most of the fish I've caught were pretty decent. A lot of them on the C15, or a couple of them. And then just caught that walleye on their hollow body swim bait, like a clear black back shad color. And then I think like a quarter ounce just swim bait head. I figured out that, uh, well, I've only got one bite, but my one bite came away from the glorious geyser. So I'm gonna keep kind of working the sides and uh, See if I can't get bit some more. Let's get another one. I really don't want to lose the swim bait. I have more, uh, I have more heads, but I don't have more of the swim baits. All I know is I'm getting in the, well, I guess all I know is I'm probably, oh, got it. Getting in the damn water, because these gnats are just nuts, like nuts, and they're bitey. Got something. I don't think he's decided how big he is yet either. I'm growing. Oh, it's a bass. It's a largemouth. That's pretty cool. Clear water, largemouth. Not a giant, but it's a fish nonetheless. The swim bait definitely seems to be the deal i threw a bunch of other stuff around for a while and no luck he's definitely been caught 97 times this year though with those holes cool about the l bottom of the totem pole on my desirables list but i started started out kind of struggling here i wasn't wasn't doing too hot so after you struggle for a while you pretty much will take anything you can get i honestly thought that large mouth was going to be a, a white bass People have made a lot of homemade live wells around here. That's for damn sure. Try this other side. I'll tell you what, when they eat a swim bait, they eat a damn swim bait. Feel the tick and you got like 97 seconds before you have to set the hook. They are convinced. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you uh, again. One of the coolest spots in North America, but it's also one of the snaggiest. Guarantee you that. Bye, glorious swimming bait. All right, well, the night crawlers really aren't working. They get snagged instantly, and I don't have any more swim baits. So we are going to, and I'm committing to it, even though this is one of the coolest, craziest spots I've seen my whole life. Once I lose this jig, we're leaving. You better hold me to it. If I don't do it, unsubscribe or something or yell at me. Plus these bugs are just ridiculous. I just had like seven crawling on my face. I need a drink of water. It's, it's hot. I also need to find somewhere to sleep. 
I haven't figured that out yet, and it's uh, 620. If you didn't watch the other two videos, go watch them. We started this 24 hour survival challenge at 6 a.m. We're 12 hours deep, and I'm sleeping in my dirty truck. You have to stay tuned to that though. Got a pretty cool low budget way to make any truck comfortable for a fair and reasonable price. Let's see what's over around this point. <clears throat> what is this, like limestone? Whatever it is, it's kind of cool. Comment down below, is that limestone? Isn't limestone worth money? I'm just gonna do like old Bill Dance taught me, just start fan casting around the shores until you find the sweet spot. Or is that Roland Martin? I have no idea, but I do know there's carp everywhere. This spot definitely does look like a spot out of a damn movie or something. Oh, dang it. Dang it! Little jerk. I can't blame him. That was my fault. I wasn't paying attention. Got one. Oh, there's a damn like hornet on my head. Nice small mouth! Hell yeah! <laughs> cool! Oh, that's all right. I think I found where the small mouth are. Hopefully there, some of them have bigger mouths than that. But that was still cool. Two bites, two casts in a row. After a dry spell, a pal. I think he had it for like 97 years. I couldn't catch up to my damn jig. Maybe the small jaws are turning on. Oh, that was my fault. They are out there. Found where they're roaming. The damn carp right there. I'm gonna have to catch one of them bastards here pretty soon too, I think. I love you, Embar Jig. You get bit when nothing else does. I got plenty more inbred jigs too. Pretty sure something just hit it on the fall. Not 100% sure. There they are. Sweet. I haven't caught smallmouth all year. Badass. He ain't big. I'm getting salted by flies, but. I think my second smallmouth of the year. So that's why I'm so stoked about such small fish. Don't judge me. Sweet little spot, yo. I knew I was gonna spend way too much time here. That was a fish, I think. It's just so cool. I made them scatter. I don't know what it is about the flies out here, but they are jerks. Damn Western flies. Got that one. He dead now. All right, I'm just gonna cast these carp once. And we're getting the hell out of here. Cause some of them are gigantic. It's probably a waste of damn time. But I'm gonna give it 15 minutes here and we're going somewhere else. There's just too many damn 20 pound carp over here for me not to catch them, or at least try. I'll always have a special place in my heart for carp. Cause they're drag screamers. Right in front of their face. I don't know if they're spawning or eating freaking cotton or what. They're definitely everywhere. Let's see if we can sight fish one. If we don't get eaten alive by flies first. What are they doing when they stick their head out of the water like that? I don't get it. Oh, it worked. What do I got? Do I got a catfish? I got a damn catfish. Not a terrible one either. Little bastard swallowed it. He'd never seen a night crawl in his life before. Son of a biscuit. Come back here, Timmy, I'll let you go. I already kept one dirty ass catfish today. Well, I guess it's another species. Now we just need another spot. Later, catfish Timmy. All right, let's get out of here. All in all, it was a success because it sounded like that one guy was struggling. It sounded like everyone's been struggling at this spot this year, so 
I feel like I did pretty good. There you go, carp. Jerks. All right, walleye, bud. I appreciate you for your meat. Let's go home. I mean, to the truck. I mean, to the truck home. Yes, but I know it's confusing. I'm talking to a dead fish right now. That's how today's gone. <sighs> Can you guys see the bugs? Those aren't even the bad ones, it's the flies. The flies are the dickheads. I have no choice but to end this video because this is just flowing too hard. A lot of the spillways at this lake, sadly, are closed. <laughs> so, I'm gonna drive an hour and a half back to the first one and uh, set up camp there. On that note, it's getting dark. Sun's going down over the dirty, raging, flowing, too fast spilling way. I'm gonna drive another hour and a half. Luckily, it's an hour and a half closer to home, so that's why I'm doing it, actually. And the fishing was better. So yeah, that about sums it up. Guess if you like this video, if you like this series, make sure you watch the other ones, make sure you watch the next ones. And uh, comment down below, leave a thumbs up, and subscribe and stuff. Definitely appreciate all the support lately. My views have been insane, and it has nothing to do with me. It's all thanks to you guys, so. All right, enough rambling. You guys already know I love you, so. I'm gonna shut the hell up. I'm gonna get back in my truck, and I'm gonna start driving. See you there. in the next video. I'll see you there in the next video. Anyway, you got it. Bye. Oh, yeah.